So I'm going to be commentating on a build that I came up with for the Setons Rock Spot. This is a build that you can use when you're tired of other people just playing SimCity for 15 minutes in a row without doing anything. This is to put them out of their misery quick. And I make this for the Rock Spot because it's by far my best spot on Setons. I mean, I'm okay at beach, I'm okay at back, I completely fail at middle. But in rock, I'm okay, so I'm just gonna make this build from the rock. So you can see here, the build that I came up with is one land factory, one mass extractor, and then it's gonna be 13 power generators. So you can see with the ACU, I've only gotten one of the mass extractors. That's because in this build, you want to get your engineers out into the mass extractors very quickly. So you can see the 13 power generators have been queued up. The first engineer will go here because this is, uh, what the heck is going on? This is a very convenient spot for the engineer to stand because now it's within range, this is the build range. It can reach all these power generators as they're being, power generators, <laughs> sorry, as they're being built and it doesn't even have to move, it just has to rotate. So, since I only grabbed one mass extractor so far, if I don't go for these rocks immediately, I'm going to stall on mass very badly. This is going to be what saves the build, basically. As you can see, running very low, and here comes the mass from that. And the next engineer, he is going to get these four, one, two, three, four mass extractors. He's going to go in a loop. And then he's going to go on an attack move after he gets a radar. And this engineer is going to get these four mass extractors. He's going to collect some trees afterwards. And the next engineer, this one is the fifth, is going to go out and grab these four mass extractors. Then he's going to get a radar at three plant factories there for the engineer spin. So this build is going to focus on being extremely aggressive with your air and with your navy because like I said this is to prevent SimCity, this is to get revenge on those eco workers out there. So these next engineers are going to assist the ACU when he gets the rest of the P-Gens and the air factory. Still there's no attempt for the hydro because it's pretty far away so there's really no point in getting it that I can see. So three engineers are helping the ACU. Now they're going to get the air factory. There's going to be a fourth one. So all four engineers plus the ACU are going to be building this air factory. And once it's done, the four engineers will help assist it. So the, the first thing it's going to get is a bomber. And then it's going to get a transport and then a whole bunch of interceptors. At this point, you can start upgrading this mass extractor because it's surrounded by a P-Gen, so it's going to have a small bonus. And because at this point, you can expect your mid player to be in the middle if he's doing his job right. And you can see the mass boost coming in, so you can afford to upgrade these. This bomber is going to go in the general direction of these three mass extractors because they're very vulnerable. And now, uh, I'm making the first attempt to get this hydro. Now the transport is out, all four engineers will get on it. As you can see, the economy is pretty stable. This one's going to be grabbed very soon. And there's an engineer attack move for the factory. Now with these four engineers, here I'm going to drop three of them on the island to get the island. And then the uh, fourth one is going to go over here. That's going to be timed well with the bomber. So now, your first few engineers, I mean interceptors, I can't talk now, it's pretty late. These interceptors are going to go out here, because the transport is coming in, and if Kaboomer was doing some crazy, uh, disruptive, aggressive build to get the island, I need some measure of protection against that, and that's where this interceptor comes in. So the hydrocarbon is basically captured. 
getting that second mass extractor, and then you want two more on land factors because you want to get all these trees. You have a huge freaking forest here, and there's just so much mass and energy to be gained from that. You really want to take full advantage of that. And I'm forgetting to micro this bomber. Eventually, you want to kill this engineer if you want this engineer to have any success. So here's the factory, you want to spam anti-air because really the only challenge they can make at this point for the island is a drop or an aerial assault. A drop will be taken care of by the anti-air unless they drop back here in which case you can just make some artillery and if they bomb it then that's useless against a factory and anti-air. So I'm getting the next two mass extractors and the ACU is going to help those after he gets these a uh, few factories. And now I'm working on the next power spam because these 13 P gens and the hydro are not enough for after about five minutes of playing. Also there is some mass in the forest on this island so you want to get those with the three engineers that you dropped off. So now this engineer is going to stealthily build a factory here. I try to do this against everyone that I play when I'm playing rock. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If it does work, it's incredibly annoying. And it's gonna make tanks. As you can see, these mass extractors are almost done upgrading 85%. There's a nice air spam going on. You really want a lot of tech one air. So here the first factory is finished, getting the second one. So at six minutes, you're having a lot of build capacity in here. And th these bombers, what you really want to do is keep engineers out of here. Because these are so far away. Like this one is trying to get over there. And you want to buy yourself some time to get this factory. As well as to deny him these until you can get some sort of land force up. That was a fail bombing room but the next one will probably get it so now that you're beginning to make your navy you want to send a scout and by a scout I mean a whole bunch of interceptors because and there's the bomber right there goes the bomb it's a kill and the factory goes up it's gonna spam infinite tanks all right so here comes the scout at this point you want to see if Kaboomer is making any sort of navy And the scout says that he doesn't, and I trust my sense of sight. So, uh, no navy means that you can really do the tech one naval attack and rush. So, first naval factory, you can. So, I went and had to build three naval factories since it's gonna be a tech one spam. First one is gonna make a bunch of submarines. You can see a massive power stall. So I am going to end up having to pause some of these upgrading mexes. I'm doing three at once. As you can see, I paused and the power problem is basically fixed because I'm supplementing it with these trees. That's helping a lot. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit because I would pass the early part. So these tanks are going to roll through. There's nothing to stop them. This bomb is actually still alive. Now these engineers like to stick together in groups, so you have to bomb them. It's just a great target to bomb as you can put this bomb there. So since he presented me with the opportunity to, to grab these three mass extractors, I went ahead and did it. I built a few more engineers in that factory. Because if you can hold on to them for 18 seconds, then they pay for themselves. And that's definitely a worthwhile thing since they only cost 36 mass. That is less than one tech one tank. As you can see my score is the highest with all this attacking and all this extra economy that I'm getting. So with your ACU, oh yeah I forgot to mention, the reason you want your ACU in here is because I sent him there at about 5 minutes because at around 8 minutes to 9 minutes is when uh, a player like Mize could be getting early strategic bombers or something along the lines of that so you really want to be careful. Do not take chances with your ACU. This is an upgrading mass extractor, it's a fun thing to kill right there. And these tanks are going to roll through the mines of the mass extractor see what damage they do. You can see this is forcing Kaboomer to spam a lot more tanks and waste even more mass than they kind of 
So finally, he's got a naval factory. The last scout showed that it wasn't even built, and I already have Tech 1 ships heading in that direction. So you can see there's a nice power span there. My power problems are fixed. And the great thing about Seraphim is that once these are done making engineers, because you've harvested the forest, they can be switched to making floating artillery. Nice build capacity here. You can see there's a lot of Tech 2 mass extractors. A lot of them. And there are 10. And there's only 3 more on the mainland. Those will be upgraded all at once. So you can see Kaboomer was not expecting anything like this because usually on FAF and on set in general, people just eco up for the first 10 to 12 minutes before there's actually any real fighting. And now, by the time he gets in the water, he already has ships over here. Such the power of surprising your opponent and having total air domination as well. Tech 1 air. He also has to waste resources defending against this and rolling over this. And it's just a very bad situation to be in if you're Kabuma right now. So I'm getting the next three mass extractors to Tech 2. This is the naval factory that will eventually build Tech 2 ships. So here's uh, an artillery drop that I was talking about. This one is going straight to TA for life. That's just going to piss him off because he has so many artillery in his base now. What is he going to do? He has to, he has to move all his stuff back to defend against this. And by the time he does that, he's going to kill as much stuff as he can. So he's trying to get some naval ships up now. But you can see he's already far out span. I mean, 11 technology units and 2. This, this would be a joke. But he does the right thing. He builds some torpedo launchers. He buys himself some time. That's what you want to do. Because you have to respect them. You cannot let something like that go, you can't just roll it because your ship will back. But now, the most effective tactic is to bring in some artillery. And what you can do is you can attack with this artillery and your Tefno at the same time. Give this artillery the perfect counter to these torpedo engines because the torpedo engines cannot hit them. And your frigates basically act as tanks in this situation. They have 2,000 health, that's a lot of health. And while they're engaging the other three guys in the strong thing, I hadn't even lost a single artillery when there's still 16 out of 16. Everything just got rolled over. So, so far, nothing is a tech 2, it's all tech 1. Except that now this factory is going to tech 2, and you want to get two tech 2 engineers. One of them goes over here and gets tactical missile defense, because if you get tack missile at this stage of the game, it's actually pretty inexcusable, and it just hurts a lot. So you want to get some power here with your Tech 2 engineer because 13 minutes, 14 minutes is when your back player should be getting their resource allocation. So it's when you should experience some stuff. So here I had to shift my Air Force to help out Sire. He's getting bombed. That's another one. So it's nice to have your side player support you. But my eyes came in with his Tech 3 air, so I couldn't do anything. So Uber had to respond with his own Tech 3 air. This was the first major air engagement. So one thing you have to do in, in a situation like this is you have to fill up the transfer with engineers, maybe five, and just drop them out here and reclaim them as you can because you can't give a gift like this to Kaboom because if he was to defeat this somehow, then he would have all these wrecks plus the wrecks that are there. It's a ridiculous one to mention. That's enough to get back in the game. So you want to take as much of that as you can. You don't want to let him just so now all the mass structures on the island are attack 2, so everything is attack 2, there's eight, 18 out of 18 are attack 2. So at this point I'm really ready to go attack 3 with the mass structures as soon as I start reclaiming some of these. And I can go full on attack 2 spam now because I have the economy to do so. And there's some more drops going on at TA for that space, so I'll be. Now I was forgetting to make sure they're finding the attack to get some of this stuff. With that reclaim, you can basically power an upgrade for a uh, Tech 3 Mass Extractor. So now he's actually going to claw his way back with these Tech 2 Mass Extractors. Because those will just eat the 
It's actually a really bad situation if you don't know what you're doing. He's also trying to use Tech 2 gunships to come back. I can't really do anything about it because my cruiser is still being built. That's how late it is. So that was my mistake there, not having a cruiser in the mix. So I had to ask Uber for help. And my is doing the right thing. Using his ASF to defeat my Tech 1 Air he wants his ally to get the ocean back, so he doesn't want to completely lose him in the ocean, that would be very bad for his team. So the first Tech 3 Mass Extractor is online, I'm already working on the second one, it's a 28%. never want to stop upgrading. A lot of the, a lot of the new players forget that once you have all your master extractors at tech 2, they think, wow, that's amazing, and they just never upgrade again. No, you want to, having a mass stall like this is okay because you want to keep upgrading your master extractors at tech 3, otherwise you're going to lose in the long run. You need to keep your economy constantly expanding, and reclaim fields like this really help all these dead planes and ships in the water. So Uber has chased away all those air units, although at this point it's a bit too late, he's already gotten to some torpedo launchers, so I had to retreat. But it, even though he eventually got back in the water, if you look at the score difference, he's at the bottom while I'm third, I'm only behind the air players. And because of that tech advantage and economy advantage and production advantage and basically whole advantage overall, with all that early aggression, there's just no way for him back. Eventually it went down to a Tech 3 submarine spam fest, and I won that as well because I had the economy advantage right from the beginning. And it was. So, power deficits. I only made two Tech 2 power generators. Sometimes you can make three, sometimes you can even make four if you're planning to get your own resource allocation, which I was getting right now. However, that is quite expensive. So, uh, there's not really much to be said anymore. I mean, clearly he's gonna get back, he's gonna get an age of some sort, especially since he chased me away. But there's no way he can come back. So that's basically how to be aggressive as a rock player. You wanna get your Tech 1 Navy out, and you wanna attack, and you can Basically, in the early game, don't play city. Be aggressive. It's a more exciting way to play. And here, TA for Life was extremely aggressive with the ACU. So I brought everything back to help Steyr out, and eventually, we ended up killing him. And then, after that, the replay is broken, so there's really no point in it At this point, I, was, uh, I had some of the Mass Extractors capped. So this is where I'm going to end this video, so I hope this helped some people, and maybe it helps some newer players with their rock play. Thank you for watching!